In this video, we're going to discuss the NPC in cover behavior. All right, so here I'm in kind of like a little wasteland area, you know, like a urban wasteland, I think is what the asset uh, VLC is. And I'm just, you know, roaming around trying to loot these buildings, but that they're trying to kind of restore order in this area. So there are law officers around and I got to be careful uh, because they might uh, try to kill me. So if I go around this corner, you can see, oh, they just ducked behind the, the cover. Now they're firing at me. So he said, you're not allowed here. And he's firing at me. So, oh, he's going right up to me. So we're going to kill him right away. Got hit once, but it's all right. Just get topped off. See if we can get these last two guys here. I want to observe them first. Notice the guy in the back is uh, not doing anything. I'll, I'll point that out, like, why that is here in a moment. Um, but let's kill this guy. There we go. All right. So that guy, he's ducking back and forth behind the wall. He could see me. I shot him. He's dead now. That guy can't see me yet. So he's just too far. He's just out of range. Now, if I get closer, if I just walk up, he will eventually detect me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get him shot. There we go. All right, so got him killed. There we go. So let me show you how the NPC in cover behavior works and why this guy couldn't see me and this guy could. Okay, so we have the three cops. Now, this guy is not like the other two. This one I just put plain old character attack. So that means he's going to find the nav, nav mesh to me and he's just going to try to get to me as quickly as he can. So he went all the way back through here to come to this corner to try to get me. And I did that on purpose to kind of show, like highlight the difference between this NPC and cover behavior versus a standard character attack behavior. Uh, then we have the two that are in cover. Now this guy is using uh, the right style cover. He is also left style so you could duck to the right, duck to the left, or there's up down, which of course is the one that this guy is using back there, which we'll get to in a moment. Uh, we have the alert distance, which is the distance that you, uh, how far you can be away from this character before you alert him. Obviously this is less than 2000 units. So I alerted this guy right away, but this guy had a much smaller alert distance. So he didn't get alerted until I got like right up here. Uh, about half the distance and so that's when he got alerted so that's why he wasn't really reacting right away so the alert distance really matters and you've got to kind of play test in, in order to get that exactly right uh, the exposure time is in milliseconds so that's how long is he going to be exposed from cover giving the player a chance to shoot him and then the cover time of course also in milliseconds is how how long will he remain in cover then we have some uh, some animation slots to use. Now, you can just use whatever animations you have available for the character that you're using. In this case, I'm just using stock and, uh, stock assets, stock characters. So I'm just using the animations that came with them. And it doesn't really matter too much which ones you use, but obviously they should make sense for the action that's being described. So when he's standing, which animation should he be using? So I chose idle, equip to aim. But I could have just as easily chosen, I don't know, throw a grenade or idle aim. You know, any number of these different choices that would make sense would work just fine. Uh, then we have the crouch, idle aim. That's the duck animation. Uh, left, step left, step right. That makes sense. And then shoot uh, animation. I just used idle aim. So it kind of depends on what your scene looks like and what you're going for. But just play around with it. Like I said, a lot of times it just com comes down to... Uh, play testing and seeing what looks and feels right to you. Then we have the use sound variants, which is a tick box at the bottom that allows the character to leverage audio that already exists in Max. Now uh, these are sort of hard coded, so to speak. They're in there, and uh, we've all probably heard them a million times. You hear him say, "You know, you're not allowed here," and he's like, "There," and stuff like that, right? So. Those are just coming from a folder deep within Max. Um, you can technically change them if you found that folder and overwrote them with your own uh, audio. You could change them and then uh, ticking this box would just draw from that pool instead. But the uh, the problem with that right now is 
if you were to do that and then Max received an update, it's liable to overwrite what you saved. So just be aware of that. Uh, maybe now is not the right time to, to get that detailed uh, in, you know, uh, in your folders. But at, at some point, once we have project folders and once we have the ability to kind of customize really finite details like this, that obviously won't be an issue. Uh, but that's the NPC in cover behavior. Pretty straightforward. If you enjoyed the video or if you learned anything new, please be sure to click the like button down below. If you're new here or if you just haven't subscribed yet, we'd love to have you stick around. So please be sure to subscribe. And if you'd like a notification for whenever new videos are posted, just click the bell icon and that'll let you know when new videos are on their way. Uh, thanks so much for watching all the way through. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey, don't forget there's a written guide for every behavior, including ones I haven't yet uh, covered on this channel. And if you want to learn some more, why don't you check out this video next.